Hey guys, Mage here. Today I'll be showing you how to make custom walking, jumping, falling, climbing, sitting, running, rolling animations for R6, obviously. First you want to go and press play, go to workspace, and go to your character, so I've stuck to myself, and then go to animate, this animate script right here. You want to press copy, and once you press copy, you want to paste it in workspace. Well, obviously I didn't copy it because I just couldn't feel like copying it, but you get the idea. Once you've copied it, uh, it will look something like this. So, I have it in workspace here, and you want to drag it into starter character scripts. Once you've done this, next step is very simple. You want to open Moon Animator, and here I have my little vector. And then, once you've done that, um, you want to make your animation, so I don't know. Uh, I really can't feel like making a full-on animation, but there you go. And then you press File, Save As, and Save As something, it doesn't really matter what the name is. You go and open your character that you put it in, go to Anim Saves. And then go to this, whatever you've named it, or saved it as, right click it, save to Roblox, and then name it whatever you want, honestly it doesn't matter, submit, copy the ID, boom, you're done. Now you want to go to your anime folder again, and you want to very simply uh, change whatever you want. So I want it to be an idle animation, whatever the hell I just made. So you want to go here and put the animation you made in here. So once you've done that, if you've done every step correctly, that's gonna be, that's gonna be your idle animation. <laughs> um. Yeah, definitely not the best idle animation, but hey, it's whatever you want, right? And this works for literally every animation in here. Uh, idle, jump, run. Run doesn't actually mat do anything. It's walk that's going to do something. Because if you want an actual sprint animation, then you want to go over to your toolbox and install... Um, both of these scripts and there you go they got them roll and sprint and you want to put both of these into start to character scripts as you can see there's a little put your ID thing for this put your ID thing it's pretty simple you just want to insert your ID as I did right here and same for roll, just put it right here. And then these scripts will all work correctly um, once you've put the actual ID in. If you don't put the ID, uh, I don't think there's gonna be an animation that's gonna play. But there you go, you see, you have your running animation, you have your roll animation, you have your jumping animation, you have your sitting animation, climbing animation, Cooling animation and more. So yeah, that's basically a short tutorial on how to make uh, those kinds of uh, animations. And a bonus, if your animation doesn't line up uh, in terms of speed, so like you, um, your character's feet are dragging on the ground because of how fast they're going, uh, you can copy this simple script, uh, local player, nah, 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 and and basically just change your walk speed and jump power to whatever you want. Uh, jump power is how high your character's gonna jump, uh, walk speed is how fast they're gonna walk, and that's about it. Uh, you wanna put them in Scott's character scripts, by the way. And, um, I was Nage, thanks for watching, and, uh, subscribe.